Welcome pool fans to Railbird Pool TV live here on Facebook and YouTube. Our next matchup is Danny Olson versus Kyle Lobstadal. I'm Ryan Johnson for Railbird Pool TV. I, in the booth, we got Richard Martin, my co-commentator. We're live from the Rugby Armory in Rugby, North Dakota for the 2023 Rugby Bar Box Shootout. We got Danny Olson out of South Dakota and Kyle Lobstadol, local player out of rugby, a state champion. Welcome, Richard Martin. It's good to be here. This is going to be a good match. Uh, looks like uh, Kyle won the flip, so he gets the break first. Uh, Kyle's going to be the local favorite, obviously, here. He's in his home domain here, so he's got a lot of support here. It's a race to six, Richard, of course, uh, alternating breaks. Uh, BCA rules, you have to use the equipment that's provided. You can't bring your own cue ball or your own rack of balls and your own racks, anything like that. So Kyle to break here in rack one. It's gonna go with the big break, it looks like, Richard. There's only eight players left on the winner's side. I think uh, one player has already advanced to the final four in the winner's side, which is Joe Spence. Okay. That Danny is. Olson's the top rated player in the tournament Fargo rate wise. He was the first pick of the pick of the litter, pick of the field, and then I think Joe Spence actually went hundred dollars higher and he was the second pick of the field. If I remember correctly. Yeah. Kyle Lobstadal is a monster player in North Dakota. He's won state uh, singles, eight ball, and his team won the state team tournament back in 2022. He's a state champion from 2013. He won the state singles in Minot that year over Kenny Azure. So Kyle can play, he plays quick. We'll see if he if he tones it down a little bit playing Danny or if he's just gonna go with that aggressive, fast-paced style he likes to play. But uh, he dry broke, so uh, the eight ball's out in the open for uh, Danny, so uh, I kind of like uh, stripes here myself. But I would think that how the, do stripes, you see it here, Richard? the stripes do look a little bit better here, but uh, it's all, it's all depends what, uh, on the first shot where you can get up. He's going to shoot three maybe here. He's looking three at Three down to he the two. He like solids. I think he's just looking for his opening shot. He is looking at the solids. But I think I think he likes the solids because the seven is covering the uh, 13. The 13. But he could break it out right here. Yep, he's going to go solids. Or stripes, yeah. Stripes, uh, excuse me. Sorry. Yeah, that's why I like stripes, because you could start with that, open it up, and then this stripe, the 15, goes in the upper left. And, and then the 10 this still, goes, yep. still goes over here, but he's still got to deal with the 9 and the 14 a little bit. But the 14 does go down here in the left. And, it, and the 9 goes might go the by the 2 in the same yeah, corner. Yeah, so. it definitely goes in the upper left. So Danny's a tough player here. This is... Uh, this will be a test for Kyle, but uh, he has no fear. Kyle, Kyle has no fear. He doesn't, you know, he, and that's a good way to play, <laughs> you know. Yes. He's yes, because if you let the guy you're playing bother you, then uh, yeah. it takes away from your game a little bit. Yeah, and he broke him good there, uh, Richard. He just didn't get any friends on the break. He crushed that rack and just didn't get a ball to drop. That's pool. You know, that's what's beautiful about pool. There's a yes. lot of chance in it, and it's one of those games, Richard, where – you, you play almost any other game, you're always constantly involved in the game, not in pool. You're not constantly involved in the game. You know, you basketball, don't have to, hockey, football, all the other games, golf, all of them. That is so true. You do not involved. have to worry about your opponent. You have to worry about what you do when you get to the table. That yeah, your that's thing. it. That's all you can do. But no. you're, you, you might not even get a chance. You know, pool's one of those unique games where you just, they are playing alternating breaks, so you will get to break the balls. Yes, but when you get your chance at a table, just because the player is like ranked 100 points or 200 points higher than you, he has nothing to do with you doing at the table. So you can, you don't have to like uh, play basketball and you're six foot in your garden and the guy you're playing is seven foot four and yeah. he, he got a wingspan and you can't even get the ball over him. No, yeah. this, this is all on your own here. Look at this 15 ball. Is he going to bank it right now? I mean, he, I think he's, he's going to cut it in. That 15 is a very nuisance ball for him right now because he's wrong angled. I mean, he has no angle to really get it out of there with 
and he can't. I mean, he, then he's got to get on this nine and this 14. He's got to play real good. If he banks this ball, he should be able to stop the ball for I that. I think he's going to cut it in. Oh, is he cutting it? I think he's banking it one rail. Oh. You got better eyes than I do. I can guarantee you that. Yeah, I didn't that even know go beautiful. by the one enough. That was beautiful. See how he lengthened that ball by by letting it roll? Yeah. So it went long, and that way he didn't have to that way he didn't have to actually cut the ball more so he could maintain his position on that stripe. Now he can draw down for this nine ball, but he's gonna be elevated. This is gonna be this is gonna be a pretty shot if he gets. He played the 14, yeah. I forgot the 14. I missed seeing the 14 there, Richard. My eyes are. I'll go look at the comments and I went to the, whatever. Was. No, this is winner side, Brandon. Winner side, A side. Uh, a side match. I think it's final A to the A side. So both these players are guaranteed no worse than ninth through twelfth right now in this tournament. And they're trying to get to fifth, sixth guaranteed. So this is a big step up, not only in placings, but it also in cash. Going from ninth through twelfth to fifth, sixth. Look at Danny. Yeah, Danny's was a, a look nice at that out. stroke. Look at how nice he lets out. the yep. stroke go on the eighth there. He doesn't just yep. baby it. That way you don't get no skids. You let your stroke yeah. out. Follow the Allison Fisher philosophy. Yeah. That's a, I've always watched Rory for years, and I've always wondered. He shoots an eight ball in a corner, and it's firm, and two rails, the cue ball goes, up, like I said, just tapping it in. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and it's always because you don't want a short stroke. You want to let your stroke out, let the ball go. There's no chance of scratching. There's no sense yeah, and tapping they, it in. Yeah. And then they typically add a, a touch of running English so that you don't get a bad contact. Yes. It just makes it so you avoid all these bad contacts. The top pros do it all the time when you see them shoot those nine balls. They shoot them with conviction. They yes. shoot those nine balls with conviction every time. That was a very nice run. Danny's going to employ the second ball break, which I figured that's what he was going to do. This is, he knows this oh, is I, the better way to he, break. I think he just broke, broke drive. Look at this. He pinned him in on a dry break. Does he have the six? Or the nine in this side. Yeah, nine or the six. Yeah, that's, he's pinned otherwise. Yep. One thing about Kyle, he won't take long. He'll make a decision and he'll go. But Kyle's capable of slowing down a notch, and I've I've t told him, you know, keep your rhythm, Kyle. Mm. But also, you know, there is a time just you don't have to go real, real, real slow. But you know, and he's actually looking at it here. He's he's not like if you were just if he was just goofing mm. around. He's he looking got at shooting the nine and then shooting the fifteen back over here, back over in the other corner. So. He's looking at his pattern. Yeah, he's in a tough spot here. And that's why I love that second ball break because you're forcing, you force the guy so many times when you dry break to run something that's that's very tricky. And then when you're hitting it good, and then if you play good like Danny, he can run complex runouts. Because his cue ball is so good, yeah. so why not take the second ball? Well, the second break? ball it's break is smart. definitely more reliable to making a ball. Well, yeah, and and he knows his cue balls better than most players, so especially in this tournament. So why not take it? It's a smart, it's a smart move. I like Kyle here. He's really looking. You know, he's not just getting up there. Yeah, usually Kyle just steps up, makes a decision, and goes. So, but he's he's, he's good that he's this good that he's thinking this out, thinking through. <laughs> I didn't he see bumped, what there. He bumped the ball, so he's asking him if he wants to put it back or leave it where it lies. He just brushed the, I think the nine ball. He just moved it a little bit with his hand. So, if you move two balls, it's an automatic foul, though. Yes. If two balls are moved, it's an automatic if foul. If you move one ball, it's okay. If move two you, balls, but, it's automatic. But if you but if you move a ball when you're stroking and the cue ball goes through that line of any, that ball. Any ball crosses that line. Yep. Not any just ball. the cue ball. 
any then ball across that line, also, that's an automatic cause, foul. Because you have changed the angle of the game. Yep, you are correct, Richard. Yep. Well, he made that opener. He's got himself a chance here now. That was a big shot there. Yeah. It went. He was, huh, I wasn't sure if he was boxed in, but no, he no, could just six, barely six get it. Six ball went and he drew. Uh, he's got to deal with that seven quickly. That's a good shot from That's Kyle. A good shot there. He opened it up. Does he have a shot? I think he's got the one ball. I don't ball. think he got a real good. Well, he's a little tough here now. He's got the one on the side, maybe. That's a that's a tough back cut to get by that uh, eleven. I think it goes if he can get by the seven. I think he can get by the seven and cut the I one think in, he can. That's a and tough he can back go cut. into the end rail and back out to where he's got to go. So I think we're gonna find out here. That's what he's gonna try. Yeah, I think that's a pretty standard cut. That was a nice him. shot there. Had to be clean. Look at that, he's on the seven nicely. So now he's planning where's his eight ball gonna go, what's his key ball? He probably already had his key ball in mind. I think that he's going to uh, save, if he can, he's gonna save the three here for last, and then he'll come up the table and shoot the eight in, in the other side. Okay, I like that, and you can use the four to transition to the three to get that angle you're talking about, and then you're right eight out on the side. But he's gotta deal with uh, the seven, and so you're thinking, Pull back somehow for the four next. Yeah, if he just plays a little, little baby draw, come inside here, then he should be able to shoot the uh, four, uh, four in the corner. And then come into two the two and, three. and the three yeah. and boom, the eight. Just That's like that. That's what he's going to do. Yeah. Boy, this will be a nice out. Very nice out. This is what Kyle needs to do, but he needs to take it across the finish line here and complete the out. So yeah, it uh, he's got in position here. It's just a matter of the finish and the execution here now. Well, what all he needs to do is make sure he gets the angle on a three that he wants so that he can get up behind the eight. Yeah. I like it where he's at right now. He's yes, he, I do. he can yep. float right off that rail and he if, can get he, any and, angle and, he wants. Yep, yeah, if he floats just inside the 15, I think it'll be perfect. Yeah, and he can get off the rail too. Yep. With leaving the angle like he did, he can get off the rail very comfortably. So, so far he's shooting a very nice rack here. That is perfect right there. Yep. This will be a big confidence boost for Kyle to hang with Danny on his first yep. break like he's doing right here. I mean, he's got to keep the pressure Kyle, on Danny. Because Kyle gets a break next game because Kyle won the flip. Oh, but okay. Was, yeah, that's right. He lost that the first was game. Oh, that, ooh, 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 what mistake. are you doing, Kyle? He didn't Big stun mistake. down. He didn't he do didn't it. He played top and he needed and just stun went to rail. draw. He need not full draw, yeah, but he, he didn't a, need full stun, but he needed oh. a stun draw. Just a little, yeah, like a quarter just, stroke. Yeah, that was a, I think that was just a careless mental error. Oh, he almost kicked it in. Oh, almost made it in the wrong pocket. Wow, that was a big mistake. He let it go in the top spin there, Richard. Oh, that was, uh, that's, um, I'm sure he's upset with himself. He made a little mistake there, shot a little quick and. Yeah, he needed to stun, he needed stun draw on that ball. Yeah. And like a quarter stroke, just just yeah. come back just ever so slightly Snap so that when you, go, float up the so table when you go through the ball, you don't move the cue ball that much. He made a good kick there. I thought he was going to make it. He ended up just short. Oh, he had a beautiful out up until that last positional shot. He was playing really good. He had that cue ball on a string up until that last shot. Mm. 
Well, I think Danny's out now. Yeah, you got to like his odds from here. As long as the 14 goes by in the 8, it's not too tough. Or is that the, uh, yeah, it's a 14 down there, right? No, I believe it's the 10 12? or the 12 ball, I think. 12 ball. No issues here, Richard. No, he's thinking about two different ways of going. Because he was looking at the 13 over there in that corner, shooting that one first. I thought he would have shot the nine first, but uh, he's going to shoot the 13 first, I think. Yeah, you get in this little quandary sometimes. He's got on all three balls, which is good position. But uh, can you make your mind up on how you want to do it? And of course, he's very, very he's good. He's, he's looking not. at this real close. That means that tells me the. Uh, 12 there goes by the uh, eight, but it doesn't go by uh, really close. So he may be trying to come behind it and shoot the 12 down in the other corner. Oh, it might not pass the eight. Because, yeah. yeah, I mean, he's the way he's playing this, it might not pass, but. Look at the yeah. two rails he uses. Yeah. See how he uses the two rails to come so that his he's coming into the widest part of that zone. If you come one rail across, your speed is you're coming into the narrow position yeah, zone. Two rails gives you a much better yeah. area. It must not have gone or it was too tough of a shot because uh, it figures they can just make this down the corner. Oh, really he easily. plays on four and eighth inch pockets. This is nothing. Four and a quarter, I mean, this is nothing for him. He right plays over for big shape. table pool with tight pockets. That didn't intimidate yeah. him in the That's slightest. That's too bad for Kyle made that mistake because. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was a, a nice big, out. that was a big let off because Kyle had that cue ball on a string. It wasn't yeah. like he was just. I thought it was perfect. It wasn't like he was just potting the balls. And, but we're going to take a 30 second timeout, folks, for a commercial break. Thanks for tuning into Railbird Pool TV tonight. Nestled in the geographical center of North America, rugby provides a hometown atmosphere to grow your family and business with safe neighborhoods, good schools and daycares, trusted medical facilities, and a diversified economy from manufacturing to healthcare. Home to almost 200 businesses, big and small, rugby provides an abundance of activities indoors and out. Rugby North Dakota, come for a visit, stay for a lifetime. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Kyle Lopstadal to break here in rack number three, trailing two to zero in a race to six. This is on the a winner side action match in the men's open, final 32 redraw. Kyle put a ball down. He's he's kind of in a predicament here as far as uh, the cue ball. He it almost scratched, so he's up in the kind of left field up there. Uh, he's got a combination here on the solids if he wants solids. Uh, he's also got the 15 on the side. Welcome back, Richard Martin. Yeah. Kyle made a, a really strong break there. He almost scratched. He got a good spread here. He decided to go with the 15 on the side. Now he's going to have to figure out uh, 
how he's going to transition down for the for the balls at the other end. He'll clean up all these balls. This is a classic example of his he'll work the three balls he's got at this end of the table first, then he'll work his way to the right. If, if it works out, usually what I try is I try to shoot balls on one half of the table and then work my way down to the other half yeah, of the table. Yeah, especially if you have a congestion in the middle of the table at all of your opponent's balls. You don't want to be just going back and forth all the time. Sometimes you, you'll leave an outlet ball. Let's say you have a break shot, a break ball that you got to move out down at one end, but you have a nice ball sitting in the, the corner at the other end of the table. Sometimes you'll leave it there just so that you have an insurance ball or yeah. something like See, that. See, like he's going from one end to the other right now. Because yeah, had, that's... Because he had the perfect angle to do what he wanted to do. But, yeah, uh, and he does have the middle of the table is, wide open. is pretty much wide open, yeah. so he it's not going to be as big of an issue this time. But I know I tried to shoot half and half because um, as much as that means possible. You're, that means you're only shooting a three and a half foot shot all the time. Yeah. You're so not shooting a seven footer or eight footer shot. Exactly. Yeah. So as much as possible, you want to work certain sections of the table when you're playing eight ball, no doubt about it. I'm hoping it. my senior age, they, they go down <laughs> to like a four foot table. Yeah. So I can yeah, shoot two four. foot shots all the time. Yeah. <laughs> the senior division. <laughs> So are you going to go to, uh, do you play uh, senior nationals when you go out there? I'm going to, yes, okay. this year. I'm, I'm, VNEA? We're going to VNEA this year for the first time ever, and uh, I'm going to play in the seniors. Uh, I know in the uh, open division, I do believe they have, uh, ooh, that was a mistake, but, but he can still get to it eventually. But the the, the open divisions, they um, I think the operator puts you in where he thinks you belong. It's okay. not like a by a Fargo rate or anything like that. And uh, um, the senior division, there's only one division. So no matter what your ability is, you're in the senior divisions. So you can play against a, a master that's retired or a guy that's just started playing. You don't know who you're going to get, anything like that. So, Because I think Kenny Asher has won the uh, uh, a senior few years nationals. ago. He won senior nationals, but I'm thinking it was for nine ball. I'm not sure, but I think it was. Yeah, I think it, I think I think you're correct. It was nine ball. And the girls won the eight ball one year, as a team event. Rachel and. Uh, yes, the uh, Nellies. Yeah. The Nellies group of Nellies yeah, girls: yeah. Uh, Rachel Naduge and Black, uh, Karen Poitra, Joan and Jacobs, and uh, Val Wilhelming. Mm -hmm. Yes. I played BCA for, I think it's 20 straight years, and we didn't go this year. It was just. Uh, we just wanted to try something different. Uh, last couple of years of BCA, we haven't been to. There's changes going on and stuff like that, and, and it works for a lot of people. And a lot of people really like it. And there's a lot of good vendors there and stuff going on. So we just try something different. Uh, try not to be quite as serious as we were before. Uh. But yeah, back to the match here. Uh, he ran into that three. He, he can get on the south rail, and eventually he's going to play a safe here. Safe, yeah. It's not a bad shot. No, because he ran into it by accident. He didn't want to move that three. And he opened eight. it up to where it will go for sure now. Uh, the eight doesn't really, maybe, the eight might be tight, but uh, Danny's in a, in, a, in a world of hurt right here because even if he hits a ball, Kyle's probably Kyle's most likely to have a shot. Yeah. He's Kyle's most likely open. to get a shot out of this. So that's a well, uh, Unless he can see well the three thought enough. out and well executed Unless defensive Unless he can see shot. the three enough to try to make it in the side. Yeah, he's he's going to be able to kick at the three at the worst at, at the worst case, and he's going to make a he's hit on it. But he's to. not he, going to move it out of there because no, the he's, he's going down to try to uh, hit the two. Yeah, that's a oh, great that's, shot oh, that's a from great Danny. Shot. What a shot oh, he from got Danny! It, now he's got all up. day long. Now he can he can play defense. That was a great shot from Danny Olson there, because now he put him into big trouble, and he kept him off of a, a, a high percentage offensive shot too. On top of it. Wow, he got a lot of value out of that that kick shot right there. I think Kyle's going to try and make this in the opposite corner there, and I think I think Kyle, being an aggressive player that he is, he'll uh, if he gets out the middle of the table, I think he'll try to bank bank that ball back that he's got in trouble. Yeah, oh, he'll of try course. to bank it back right after this shot. Uh, Once again, if you don't feel like you're going to get a better opportunity. See, like, then right oh, I now, he made that. Yeah. See you that. might as well run out right there if you don't feel like you're going to get a better opportunity. 
you, you might as well take the run right there because like you said, he makes the ball, he banks this ball, and if he draws, uh, stun draws over to the south rail, he can get out. Because if he banks the, the 10, if he'd have made it 13, uh, uh, the three ball's still hooked. So he better get it out while for, until he gives Danny too much uh, table time to, to the player like Danny is not gonna leave. Uh, He'll come. He's yeah. gonna say he's gonna come behind the eight ball there so that he doesn't yeah. knock the eight in by accident or anything. Now, he tried now, to do that. Now Kyle's ball might be hooked on the rail here with the eight. I don't know if it goes by now. But this is like a four ball combo. Is he gonna shoot the four ball combo? Ah, uh, no way. He might, but I, I don't believe so. If he thinks he can get the, I don't think he shoots it unless he for sure believes it's gonna drop. He'll shoot the the, the 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 solid and the four first and try to draw into the 10 and knock him out. I don't think he would take the combo at this angle. Look at how thin he is on that ball and you're not even guaranteed to make that ball. I think he shoots the four and tries to draw into the balls and open them up. Plus the combo might go with throw. He probably looked at that and probably knows the he, combo just goes Yeah, down it's here. either wired or he has throw on it, which pushes it it throws it right in the hole, so. But that's a safer shot than the combination there. That combination, believe it or not, was very tricky. And then you have to, then you have to gauge what all the balls are gonna do in that. This was a much safer shot, but he's gotta deal with the, he's got the three to break the eight out. I he's gonna have to throw this in, but he's got the perfect throw shot because he's hitting the ball, the side of the ball that actually throws it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying there? Yes, I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I just, yeah. So I, he's, I, to me, it looks like the it's going to hit there. Yeah, so he's, but he's so got to do something with it. Yeah. Yeah, he's got to throw, so he'll hit this part of the ball, and it's going to throw that seven right in the hole. See, boom. Yep, there he he goes, wanted yep. to hit it lighter, though. I'm surprised he hit it that hard, because he could have set up the angle on the three to go into the eight, right, or br break the eight out, and then he would have insurance with either the six or the one. But he hit that one a little hard. He's in a little bit of a jam here, but the, the good well, thing news for him is he's got the, the one ball. And come back up. He's yeah. got the one ball. Ooh. He missed it. It's giving Kyle a chance. Kyle can come across now mm -hmm. with the 13 between the and, and try to disrupt these balls here a little bit. But he's got to be careful with it, though, if he doesn't. Because uh, you don't want to catch the right-hand part of the three as we're looking because you could scratch. He's got to almost hit the, the three full in the face. Yeah. Like, I mean, he's got to catch that three full in the face. Yeah. And then it will dislodge the balls, and then he should be able to stop for this stripe that's sitting down here and shoot in the left lower corner. But if he catches either edge of the ball, he's not going to get the breakout. Because I, I don't think he can come directly into that stripe. I don't believe he can, unless he arcs it around the three off that rail. That's what he tried to do. He tried to arc it around that. Now he's in big trouble. Yeah. He's in huge trouble now. I was surprised on Danny's miss there, but you're on a rail and you're shooting to the rack area and you try to hit a ball soft. Uh, we all know that on bar tables and everybody's been playing at the... Are you just going to play safe and leave him tough? Yeah, I would have. Um, that's not a bad move there. I like the decision. I would have really concentrated, make sure you get him on the rail, leave him on the rail, and then try to use the 10 to obstruct him a little to bit. Block it, right? But I mean, it's not a bad shot, but he, he didn't get as much value out of that shot as he really yeah. could have. But I don't know if he can see the six or not. Or can yeah, he I think he three? can. You think he can? But if, if, if you would at least, at bare minimum, left him on the rail. That queuing is so much more difficult. Now Danny can see uh, the whole ball here. He he's has more, way more options. Way more options I think he's, for position. I think he's, he's going to hit the, the three and just play safe. Yeah, he could do that easily, too. That's the smart shot. He didn't get him. He left him two uh, rails yeah. now. He Kyle's got a free the, shot. He can shoot the, the stripe in the lower and left, come around two rails. rails. Come over and try to break it out.
So yeah, you got a free shot here. Dan uh, you're not expecting that you would have had this kind of a shot. So Kyle's just gonna go at it right here. He's gonna try to go two rails. Break into him. Oh, he missed it. He's in big trouble now. He doesn't have anything. He tried there, Richard. He came he up. He sure did. That was a very good try. Just, yeah. uh, That's all just he really had. Short, I yeah. mean, he had to do it. He had to fire at it. Mm -hmm. The thing is, if he'd have caught that full in the face, he would have been perfect because the eight would have pushed. That other, uh, the, the stripe would have went forward just slightly. And then he, the cue ball would have, he would have been almost straight in line with the corner pocket mm -hmm. with that ball. If he would, as long as he caught it pretty much full coming in at that line that he was coming in, he would have been perfect. Yeah, he's, he's, this is a tough shot. He called, did he call the side? I think he called the side. He, he, tried. Was, gonna, he was playing the deflection off the rail into the eight. Yeah. And it's opening and kick toward the side. Yeah. He knew he, he was going to kick. It's not a bad effort there. Yeah, I mean, that was a tough shot. That's not a bad effort. Danny's got uh, a pretty routine four ball out here, Richard. Should be. I think he's going to float the three up, shoot the six in the side, roll over to the rail for the one. And then uh, um, there you go. He's gonna I like the way he played that. That's yeah. I like that he played it for that side rather than the other side because it, it makes position easier to get to the yep, one ball. You can just draw the ball. There you go. Oh Off yeah, different down. options. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's I really like the way he played that. Yeah, every everything he shot here was like he could put a good full stroke on it, not 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 tapping it in. And, and, because I think when he, I think when he missed that one, was because he did a little off the rail, just sort of tapped it in the side, and the table rolled a bit. I think he realized there he's not going to take that chance anymore. Yeah. So the yeah. better players can just let their, uh, they don't care about which side they shoot or which corner they shoot. The balls go out. So we got three nothing already. Yes, we do. Three nothing in a race to six here. This is. Uh, a winner side match. This is uh, the final eight of the winner side that they're in. So they're guaranteed ninth through 12th. And if the winner moves on to the final four of the, uh, the winner side, so, or the A side. Hope everyone's enjoying the stream this late evening. Thanks for sticking with us tonight. Uh, we got 63 viewers right now on Facebook. It's a great shot from that second ball break. It's just, yep. I'm telling you, it's it, once you master that second ball break, I'm surprised more people that aren't doing it. And the reason why they're not doing it is because they don't practice it. They don't once, understand. Once it. you master that second ball break, I'm telling you, this it look at what it does you make the ball almost every time and the the spreads are just freaking beautiful and if you miss hit it just slightly you leave a big congested pile of trash or a lot of obstacles so no, the secret is to make a you ball don't a scratch break. hardly ever and on have, it either. then you have control of the table and you can decide what balls you want and where you want to leave the guy to start the game yeah and you you rarely scratch and i'll tell you uh tyler steyer told me one time you know what he told me if if the, the table is not racking good, you take the second ball break every time. If you can't get a good rack, you know, you're not using a template, and the, okay. you're having racking issues, go to the second ball every time. Don't ever take the head ball if you're not getting a good rack because it's just, you're doomed. You're just doomed. Because all you're doing is hoping the balls, you get a ball that scrambles in because you're not gonna get any of those tracking balls to go when the racking is set right. It's very difficult. I mean, if you if you can't get the balls racked right, those tracking balls when you're crushing them in the middle just won't go. But a lot of guys go with that big stubborn break and they, they hit it hard and that. And you, even in this tournament, like Jeff Clare was using it, but he even went to the second ball break because he, when I seen him playing last night, he was in an action, some action. 
he was using the big crush and break, but his cue ball was flying all over the place. He had no control of his cue ball. So he went to the control break, the second ball break, and he's seen what he did in that last match with it. Mm -hmm. He was doing the same thing Danny's doing right here. It's just... Well, maybe I should learn the second ball break. Oh, I would spend some time on it because it's, it's like I said, it's, it's a better break if the balls are not racking good. If you can get a really good rack, that, that break down the middle is, is devastating. You see how uh, Van Boning and Tyler Steyer, Fedor Gorst, that caliber of players, when they can get a good rack, that down the middle break, they got so much control of that cue ball that it's just a devastating break because they pop it back and they control that cue ball right on a string when they break it. But they get the rack set. Then they have that ball wired to the side pocket on every break when they do it. See how but Danny there trusted a stroke with me? I would have just uh, shot that ball in the corner, stopped it, and then shot the eight down the, in the corner, in the opposite corner. Instead, he just draws it back perfectly and shoots it. A little, yeah, a he wants to keep that side. confidence. Yeah. That's the balancing point between not being too tentative and not moving the cue ball too much. No. He does it to where he keeps confident, to where he doesn't lose confidence in his stroke. That's why he's doing a lot of it, is so that he keeps his confidence going up so that if he ever needs to stroke a ball, he can actually come with it. Where sometimes if you try to make it too simple and not move the cue ball at all, you don't get any, you don't gain any confidence. So it's it's a it's a big balance point there in uh, finding that nice happy happy middle point there. But Danny, you can see his confidence level is is sky high right now. He he knows he's got his man right now. You know he's the up, expression. Yes, he's at, he's he's up four nothing right now, and I. I uh, he knows he's going to break quite a few times, and he's probably going to run around two What a break points. from Kyle. He's using the crush and break, and he's getting there just goes one. massive yeah. action yeah. on the balls. You yeah. lose the cue ball with that break, though. But, you really uh, do. It should, it should jump, set in the middle of the table, and stay there. Yeah, that's the, the 820 guys, like Gorst and Van Boning, they can pop it back, and it parks. When they're hitting it good, it parks and they keep it under control. It doesn't go flying well, mine around. Mine does too, but I only it, do it, it once out of 10 racks. <laughs> it can get kicked, obviously, but it, it, they keep control of it, though. But that's a heck of a break from Kyle Lobstadol there. Look, do you see Tell the power it. he laid into that know, one there, terrible. Richard? There is a, I'm hoping here he can see the three, and then he's got a chance to get out here. He just rolled that about a, two inches too far, I think. That was a nice shot from the rail down the length of the table. He's not going to go down without a fight. I know Kyle. He's going to oh, try no. his best oh, no. till the end. He's, God, if he uh, rolled about an inch shorter, he'd probably be out this rack. But he's got to do something now. He's a little tough spot here. He's going to cut the seven in. It's a good shot there. Cue ball got a little away from him, but it uh, that works pretty nice because that one like will pass. The three inside there too much, but he's got yeah. the, he's got options here. Yeah, the one will pass the three once the three is out of the way, or it goes in that same pocket in the upper right once. The, His problem with shooting the three, three though is the ball's going to stay, but so I'm going to guess he's going to shoot the three. Hold the cue ball right there and shoot the one down in the other corner. Yeah, if he can do that, yeah, if he can bump that uh, stripe and hold that ball like you're talking, I like it, Richard. Well, I like that shot a lot. Shoot it down the corner. And then he's got. Then I, I really believe if he pulls this shot off, then Just he's done. He's out. Make sure that when you bump the 11, that you don't tie up the eight. Yeah.
change his mind, I guess. He didn't like it. She shot those two, and he's going to shoot this one and roll into it, I guess. Probably because he was afraid of rolling that ball over by the eight. Little information for the for the viewers out there. Jeff Clare just defeated Brent Donahue, so Jeff Clare moves into the final four of the A side. And Joe jo Spence. Is Joe there Spence to... just beat Cornell McLean Jr. to go into the final four of the A side, and we have this match plus Jason Clatt and Chad Sins plan to get the or Jason Clatt also defeated Chad Sins, so he's into the final four. So it uh, this match is outstanding to. to to punch our final four. And uh, nice combo by Kyle there. Kyle should be out there now. That would be the four top rated players in the tournament, possibly. You know, I think Rory might have been higher than Jeff Clare, but uh, not by much. And as Eric far as Vargas, Rory. too. What's that? I think Eric Vargas is in Yeah, there. Eric Vargas is up there, too, and he ended up, uh, he's on the backside, but him and Rory are both still in it. Rory's playing Jeremy Slater on table 17. Uh, Bruno Nadu is taking on Tyler Webster. Table nine, uh, Joey the Kid Baloo is taking on Darren Moan still. They're playing and... Uh, Joey's bringing up the score so they beat Darren Moan. Joey Baloo just defeated Joey the Kid Baloo, took down the Moans today. He just brought the score Jacob sheet. and the Papa, but he's gonna end up, let's see here. Is he gonna have to run into Uncle Rory? <laughs> We're gonna find Kyle, out here. Is that possible? Kyle made nice out there. Uh, but, he will if uh, if Rory keeps winning and the kid Baloo keeps winning. They will, they will, they will eventually play run into in. Them. Believe it or not, they will play in uh, seventh, eighth. If they both keep winning, they're on a trajectory to play in seventh, eighth. Oh my goodness. Joey the Kid Baloo might have uh -oh. to play Rory eventually. I think Danny just broke and broke dry. And Kyle made it nice out there, so Kyle's gonna make a little comeback here. Dry, huh? Broke dry. So Kyle's back at the table. Well. This is a chance to, you know, kind of get a little bit back in the match here. Oh, um, South Dakota. Yeah, Danny Olson is from Brookings, South Dakota. Kyle Opsidal's from the rugby area right here. His dad, I believe, uh, Lane Opsidal, of course, the legend of North Dakota pool. Uh, he owned a pool hall, I believe. In this town, yeah. When yes. the Northern Line Shoe, I was going out. We spent a lot of time at uh, uh, Lane's place. Uh, what kind of pool? I was never in that place. What was it like, uh, Richard? It was a nice, it wasn't a huge pool hall, but it was small, nice, and they, they took care of you. Because whenever, whenever we played the Northern Line Shootout, which was held in this facility, okay, in the armory here, uh, which is not as nice as it was now. They've really completely redone this place. It's beautiful now. Uh, uh, when the when the night got over and they were having, other, they were having other tournaments, we would end up uh, uh, since they couldn't hold as many tables as they do now, they would only have the final 32 here. So all the loser tournaments or the uh, second chance tournaments, I should say, uh, we would have to go to other facilities and play somewhere at the pool hall, somewhere in bars and, and things like that. But they would they would send you out with your own bracket and go play eight oh, guys wow. or 10, 12 guys, and then if you won your bracket, you came back the next morning to this facility, and then the final eight, because they would have like eight brackets, uh, the eight winners of their brackets would come back the next morning and were in the money for the uh, second chance tournament and play here in the morning, on Sunday mornings, with the, with the, with the guys that were still in the 32. Uh, very nice, very nice. They ran the tournament very, very well, but the facility is, uh, much nicer now than it was. And and, the, and the, with the people and stuff like that, it's uh, even better than it was before as far as I'm concerned. It was a good tournament before, it's a great tournament now. Awesome, so this is gonna be an annual event. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's gonna become an Ooh. annual event again. Yeah. Kyle missed a easy one there. Gonna let Danny at the table. That hurt his momentum a little bit there. 
Yeah, I thought he was going to have a chance, so I think he tried to do too much with the cue ball. So. So Danny's at the table here. Uh, does he have an opener here? I mean, he's got the 15-10 combo. Does he have the gap on the 11 to see the 11 ball and shoot it? But look at this little trouble over here. Does that 14 go off the two in the side? Yeah, he probably does, yes. Eventually, you know, at some point. Getting a little late, folks, so they're they've made a couple mistakes here now. It's been a long day for everybody, so they're gonna have to grind their way now. Because when the misses start to magnify themselves when you get late at night, it starts to deflate your deflate you a even more when you start to get tired. It's a great shot from Kyle there. The cue ball got away from him a little bit there. That seven ball isn't going many places except for maybe the south side and the south right pocket. So it also banks maybe in the lower left if you get real nice on it. Tried to play it in the side there. Stripes are all wide open now, so don't see a lot of obstacles for Danny now. If you're just joining us uh, this late evening, we're live here in Rugby, North Dakota for the Rugby Bar Box Shootout 2023 at the armory here. We got our sponsors flashing in the lower left pocket. They added 15,000 into the events. All the brackets can be found on mpapool.com. That's pinned in the comments section there. So you can check out all the different, uh, all the different uh, divisions. We started Wednesday with the nine ball tournament. Scotch doubles started Thursday night. And uh, we started eight ball last night for both the ladies and the, the men's. So. Welcome back, Richard. Yep. It's a little he's thin here. He's going to have to bank this yeah, ball. This, come is, out a bit harder. this is the old uh, dead man's bank here. Yep. If, if your life depended on one bank and you needed to shoot it, this is one of those kind of banks you'd want to shoot. I left a uh, cow was coming back to the table there. I was must have. Uh, he missed the four in the side. He had, he had a tough shot and he missed the four in the side. So here's that shot again, Richard, where he'll let his stroke out and spin yeah, out this, two this rails. Will, this will go two rails, yep. Oh, he, oh, missed, shit, he it. missed it. Wow. He just stepped up and he missed it. No, that was a pretty basic shot there. And, uh, he just he just hit it too quick. I didn't even, he didn't even take a practice stroke. Yeah, he's starting to get tired, I think. That's a big let off. Kyle uh, keeps Kyle in the match. 5-1 was a real big deficit. Yeah. Now 4-2 four, four, two is a lot different. It gives him you know, a little bit more hope. Maybe gives him a little bit of boost of energy, a shot of adrenaline, too, to keep yeah. him going. And 
Danny will be uh, upset over that one. Yeah, I don't think it's going to rattle him too much. He, I don't think it's going to perturb him too no, much. No, 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 no. Yeah, so uh, Kyle's racking the balls here. He got a, a serious gift there in that last rack. Danny missing that eight ball. That was shocking. It keeps him in the match. 5-1, he was staring a long row to hoe. This gives him some a little more hope. I mean, he breaking runs here, it's 4-3. I mean, it puts a little pressure on Danny, but I don't think Danny's too worried yet. Kyle's going to go with the monster break here. He's just been crushing this break, Richard. Yeah, the other, Watch yeah. this, folks. He's going to lay into this. This will be super powerful here. Uh-oh. Looks like he broke dry. Nothing. Danny may take his time on certain shots now. But the other three of the top four have already been decided, so. Uh, Jeff Clare is playing Joe Spence right now. Yeah, that's a great matchup out on the outer table. You got Rory Hendrickson battling on the loser side. I forget who he's playing. And the winner of this match plays uh, Jason Klatt. Yes, that's correct. That will be the other, uh, the other A side uh, Rory is playing semifinal. Uh, Jeremy Slater right now, I believe. Yeah, Slater. He's playing Slater over there. Rory's going to be tough on that backside. We got he, Joy Joy Blue playing uh, Bruno Nadeau. The 13-year-old kid is still in. Yeah, yeah, and they're on a trajectory. Like I said, if if they keep both winning, Rory and uh, Joey the kid Blue, they'll uh, they'll meet up in seventh and eighth. So. Baloo's going to try to take out the whole uh, the whole uh, family entourage there, <laughs> the trifecta. If he takes down Rory, that will be a monster scalp for him. Oh, my goodness. If I had a 13 years old, if they do end up playing, oh. that would be a monster scalp for a 13-year-old to take down the, the, a legend like Rory Henderson. I mean, even Rory being, what's, what's Rory now, 55, 53, 54? I don't think he's quite that old, but it might, be right, it might be right around there. Yeah, it's 52. early 50s, yeah. So, I, mean, I, I thought we had a birthday party from last year, like 50, so it might be 51 now or something. 51, 52, yeah, because yeah. I was thinking he went down to Mexico and hurt himself that year for his 50th, but that, I could. That might have been because it blew out his knee trying to play volleyball on the beach. Yeah, and I bought him in the Calcutta at Four Bears because nobody was really bidding on him and he only went for like five or six hundred bucks and he normally goes for two thousand there and they were seeing him in crutches in a cast and they were like oh we're not going to bid this guy up and he ended up getting me fourth he got me fourth in the tournament in a cast walking on crutches uh, just So Danny's working his way through these solids here. I don't see any issues here, Richard. If that one passes the the 13 and the the 10 in the lower left, he's in business. If it doesn't, he's going to pinball back and forth here for the the six in the upper the so upper left. Gonna... But if the one goes, he's going to bank this ball so the one does not pass. He's got to hit a good one here for position. The bank, he'll have no issue making the ball, but he's got to roll out for the bank or for the position. It's a good shot from Danny. He can make the six hold the with six the 15. The one inside, yeah. yeah.
Uh, Danny's taking a little more time here after he missed that ball, so he's, yeah, he's going to make sure not, he's not going to do anything too quick. That would make him another mistake. For Danny, he just wants to get out of this match, I think, and yeah, uh, get on I don't know if, uh, if they're going to do another match tonight or not on the stream. Uh, if they will, uh, if they do. Well, they have to do one more match. I don't know if he's going to be on the stream or not because uh, uh, the, other, the other two players where they're at right now are playing already. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's uh, Joe Spence playing Jeff Clare. Jeff so Clare, you are correct. So they the winner play, of this will play Clatt probably play Clatt next. And they got And uh, if they have a one loss side match, we might bring that too. I mean, it's hard to say. Yeah, no, so no, that no, a player no, doesn't no. play two straight matches on the stream. But, but, but when we'll you get see. to the when you get to the end, everybody ends yeah. up playing on the stream. Wow, well, that's that's you are true on that. But if there is another he's match, gonna, though, that we can pull He's going to go down the corner up. and shoot eight in the other corner. Oh, well, Danny's starting to miss now, and he's shooting quick. He doesn't look like the same player that it looked like in the early. It looks like he's rushing now, trying to match Kyle's speed. Or he's just tired, and he wants to get it over with yes. quick. Something's and different. that's, uh, he's left Kyle a chance here now. Kyle can play some safes if he has to. You know, he doesn't have to run here because he's got trouble with these balls up there. I think that's a dead combo, but he's going to play safe right here, too. I think Danny's going on the end rail and he come right back. Yeah, up. It's, this is, uh, I think he's got two rails on it, Richard. It's really it's really close. He can avoid that that 14 because he has to come deep into that corner anyways to get to, get to the one. Yeah, he's looking at it right now. I would have thought I would have gotten one and come back. Well, down. you can go one rail there too, but I think two rails. Yeah, I think two rails is pretty think good that's here. Better? Probably mainly because he can reach. The reach issue is probably why he's going to do the two tall. rails more than the one. I rail. can't reach, but because <laughs> yeah, he yeah. is I mean, even being right-handed. That would be a tough reach shooting one, one rail. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. Kyle's Kyle can play a safe now on the on this other problem ball over here and open it up. That's exactly what he's looking to do. He's just going to lock him up again here and open up these balls, I think. Unless, unless. I, yeah, he's just okay, going to go with it. it. Yeah, just keep him frustrated. Keep him. Keep him. Uh, oh, he got a little lazy there, Richard. You see how quick he shot that? Yep. He had him. He could have gotten way more value out of that safety. And then he, once again, he didn't control that object ball, and he left it. There's still go, but he left them too close to each other. If you'd have kept that 11 right stab in the middle of the table and gotten a little more value with the cue ball, you could have made this way better than he did. Now, Danny doesn't have a direct hit into it. Don't get me wrong, I think but Danny's you could have gotten about, way more value out of that I think shot he's than Kyle really this. did. And banking it back. Does he? Does he jump? Is he jump banking? I think so, the way he's looking at it to me. Yeah, he's jump bank and he's got his predator jump cue out. That's why Kyle needed to make sure, and this is a tough jump, but he needed to get more value out of that safety than he did. Because of what that, a what a shot. See, he, what that, a shot. Kyle, I told you he got lazy with that safety. Yes. He's at the table again. He called it. Yeah, that's that's. I'm telling you, Richard, that safety was not good enough. He had way more value out of like that this, safety. You cannot get lazy on any shot. Yeah, and, and he hooked him, but you, you got to make sure at this point of the tournament that you lock him up dead to where he can't even do that. And he had a good opportunity to do it, but he he's used to playing guys that can't pull that shot off and against most of the league players he plays even at state we can't jump at state so therefore that's not even in the yeah. option but yeah uh, that's a big mistake he made right there because i mean he had ball, he had ball, he he had ball in hand there he could have broke those two up and floated the cue out so close to the other balls yep. that he couldn't have jumped yep. yeah exactly yeah, so that's just, what uh, i'm talking about he didn't get any he didn't get enough value out of that that safe but uh What a shot by Danny Olson. He gave him a free chance. Danny got a free shot on that ball. He shouldn't have he shouldn't have had that opportunity at all. It was a great shot, but he shouldn't have had that chance. 
And when you give a guy a free chance, it's, you're a uh, dangerous, Danny just, it's dangerous. Ball, so. We'll see what he's got going here. Yeah, he did get lazy because he got a very easy ball in hand, put that ball over towards the other yeah. two. Get, and, and, and got so close get it he better and he it. just kind of went up there and thought well all i got to do is hook him here and i'm good to go and and yes he made a great shot and a lot most is danny going to make that every time no but the, the point is is that uh he didn't the point i'm making is, is he could have had he could have done that, a better job took that totally out of the equation yeah, he where he had no chance to didn't give him that opportunity no to do that Danny didn't get a very good uh, breakout on this shot, but he can still shoot the three back in the corner over there. If he makes that, then he might be. Uh... Yeah, he's in trouble here. Yeah, he didn't uh, get a very good breakout when he rolled up to the nine. He's picked his pace up. I've noticed he's trying to match Kyle's pace. He knows he's got another match tonight. He wants to be done. That's a great shot from yeah, Danny. That's a great shot. What a shot. This could be. I think he's well, got his chance. There's a couple balls that are still in trouble, but for the most part, I, I think the one might go by the, the 15. 15. Yeah, it's close. Nah, I don't think it does. Close. I don't think it does. It goes the, in the lower left or the lower right. But, but if he makes this and can get the four in the side, he can float back for the two, uh, and then and then break these up. He's got really good cue ball control, so I expect he's going to work this out. I think he's going to float right into that. Oh, yeah, you got the, the four. four. Yeah. Now he, Oh, he's going to shoot the one first. Does he have it? I don't think he has that. He's got to play really good from here. He might have to draw into these, Richard. Mm -hmm. And what he'll want to do is he'll want to hit that other solid full, and then he'll have that seven straight in the corner. I think but you want to just barely move those balls just to where they'll still go. I think go. he's going to draw the four into the ten. To, and he's going to shoot the two over near the side. He could do that also. Yeah. That's another option. And then, and then once he shoots the two into the side, I think those will spread out. And yeah, that so I like that option too, Richard. He's That's trying to decide right now what option. he's going to do. Oh, he drew it straight back and it'll break them all up. And see what happens. So got the seven, but uh, these other two are a little tough now. I don't know what angle he has on a seven. Did he come into the four, that two like I was saying? He shot the four and just drew it straight back. Yeah, into the group. that's what I was. But he ended up going back between the one and yeah, seven. Yeah, so I think your shot was probably a little safer. I think your shot was safer. He went with my shot and he's in big trouble now. And imagine he doesn't make that jump shot in that last game. Oh if Kyle gosh. would have took care to make sure that he Buried him hard we could to bury, where he had no chance to we do could that. Bury a few seconds, he, really it could be 4-3 four, four, four. right now, and then now it could be 4-4 four, four because yeah. I don't see Danny getting out in this inning now. He's got to come with a, another another Houdini act here. Uh oh, well, obviously he can't make the 7, so he's going to kick in the 7. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He didn't have the 7, so he's got to pull another Houdini act out here, which... Gives Kyle an extra excellent opportunity to win this rack if he gets up when he gets back up to the table because this is uh, I expect him to come close on this seven ball because the seven is relatively close to the rail so you can get really good judgment with your kick. The problem with it is is coming up with a shot on the one and the two or the one and the four, one and the two. Yeah, you're just not you're not going to get much position out of that if he happened to kick that in. So what he's going to do is play safe here. He's just going to try to leave him over in the corner over there. Right over there. Because he has him doubled up. He has him doubled up on the combo like you're playing one pocket. They call doubling a guy up and sending him along because he has to a combination. And, and uh, Kyle doesn't have a really good shot here. So he might have a fine cut into the side. Well, there's two more matches they're going to play tonight that have not got started yet. And one is the uh, the winner of Dustin Geller and Zeb is going to play Eric Vargas. And the other is the winner of this match is going to play uh, Jason Platt. 
Those are the two matches left to start tonight that have not started. All the other matches are on the tables at this time. He tried that shot into the side, Richard, and it was a tough shot, but that's not a bad cue ball. No, I think he knew that uh, even if he didn't get it, he was going to be He wasn't right. going to leave anything hanging. Yeah. So, uh, which was good, leave it long. He left it in front of the side. That's a good two-way shot he played there. He knew he wasn't going to be able to hook him, so just make sure you leave him long. And he's got a pretty good trap on him right now. He's going to try uh, something to kick it off the 10 in the side. He's Danny doesn't something. have really many good say, uh, defensive options here at no, all. He's, he's looking offensively. He's, he's figuring out which ball he can go off the side in the, off the 10. I don't think that, I don't know if he can see the two to get by the seven. But maybe he's going to do it. This is a tough shot right here. Very, Very tough. difficult situation. He could go off the two, uh, the two off the one on the side. He looked at that too, but I don't think the angle, I don't think he liked the angles. That's when he went down and started measuring at the end. Yeah. scrutinized in this, I don't know. Yeah, it's a big shot because yeah. he, he has no defense at all here, so nope. he's going to come with his best shot. He tried to rearrange some stuff. He didn't have a lot there. There was a tough situation. Nope. And they didn't work out for him too well there. No, I mean, Kyle's, Kyle's obviously got to get out because it is five to two. So he's got to win all four in a row here to, yeah. to win the set. But he's got his a chance to, and I think it's his break in the next rack, if I'm not mistaken. Because Danny. Uh, yes, it is, because he wanted to flip. Yeah, Kyle broke the first rack, yep. didn't he? Yep, he wanted yeah, to yeah. flip, so. So, I mean, 5-3, five, 5-4, five, and then. breaking, yeah. Then uh, Danny, Danny potentially only has one more break in this entire set, if yep. you do the math. If Kyle plays yep. perfect and runs everything out, Danny might only get one more crack at a break. That's what Kyle really has to do at this point is he's in a tough bind. But he's got the, he, he plays well enough to do it. With that break oh, yeah. that he has right, I mean, he's losing the cue ball, but I mean, he's getting the balls flying around. So if he makes a ball, the runouts are really not that difficult, so. I like this. I like shooting these two balls here. Yeah, I, I, I think because your key ball, shot. your key ball, you want your key ball to be that ball sitting in the side pocket. I, I didn't look at his angle there. I missed it, but I thought it might have rolled forward and then shot that ball. Yeah, like that. I think so too. But uh, because then, but with this, the way he played it here, the reason why I like this is he can come two rails now into the line of the the nine in the corner. And then he'll just have the out, you know what I mean? Come out of the pocket. Yeah, I thought it would have rolled forward and you could have just floated the ball up for the nine and Yeah, you could go one you could but, come but, two rails and back out over here for the nine on the side. There was a couple different ways you could play this. The main thing is is just put the balls down. At the end of the day, yeah. you gotta make the balls. It worked out worked out pretty well. Uh, rolled a little bit too far. He he's gotta use his key ball now. So this is, he, being that he's shooting that duck, Richard, he wants to get great value out of position now yep. and make sure he has a really good angle to, on that if nine. He, if he's going to shoot his duck, he's got to go three rails, come back around and get the nine the right shape. Well, I think he can cheat the pocket, pinch it down, just leave the angle where his cue stick is right now, and then he'll yeah. uh, stun draw 
for the eight in the side. I think yeah, so. Yeah, you don't oh, want to yeah, move yeah. three rails here if you don't have to because you'll be crossing that position line that he just lined up yep. where he put his cue stick. If you come around three rails, you're crossing that line. He can just pinch this ball right here. Oh, did he go Ooh. too far? Oh, that will no, work. I think he's got enough. That's fine. That'll work. Now he can stun draw it back for that north yeah, hand side, side pocket side for the yeah. eight. Yeah. And if he goes way too long, he's got the corner up in the upper right. But, he, but I love how he played it to the rail, which he he, he plays into the large position area of the, of the zone. Yep. That's good out from Kyle there. He did yep. what he had to do to keep in the match. He'll be breaking here in yep. rack number, uh, it's going to be rack number nine. Number nine. Here's the flyer once again, folks, for the 31st annual Four Bears 8-Ball Classic coming up April 13th through the 16th. Something similar to what's going on here, but uh, even bigger, so. been a good entertaining match here. I mean, it's very good. really very good. Kyle had an opera. If he would have played a jam up safe and that ball in hand, if like we go back to that, it'd, it'd be 4-4 four, four right now. That's match would be uh, a lot and, he, and didn't he didn't he hang himself on position on another one where he was, remember that, where he he, he let it go into top spin and he yeah, didn't and get and that and other and game too. Draw, yeah. So Kyle could really, really, really the opportunities he had, he could be leading 5-3 really right match now. Well, yeah. He could be up 5-3 really easily. So, Danny's played a little bit of loose shots here recently. He yeah, missing that eight ball was really a big key. Oh yeah, when, when he, he missed that eight ball, ball, that was he just big stepped up when and Danny slapped it. Here even comes really this think a big break stroke. again, Richard. This is a huge break. Break dry. I'm sorry, Cornell. Joey Bao Leo. Bao Leo. Is that a Balu? Biliao? I don't know how to pronounce it. Sorry. Oh, here we go. Bao Leo. Bao Leo. Thank you, okay. Cornell. Okay, thank you. Is he is he related to Edmund Cat? Is that I thought uh, Edmund Cat, there was a guy by the name of Edmund Cat Ballou, they used to call him, but I don't know if that's the same spelling as this this I last name. I don't know. But yeah, Cat Ballou was if, a legend. Uh, if, he was a legend. Cornell, do you know McLean Jr.? If you know, you could uh, let us know if it's the same. Yeah, if it, you, you might know Cat, Cat Ballou, huh, Cornell? McLean Jr. Cat Baloo. Oh, that's a, he's a legend, man. Well, Kyle's, I think Kyle's out here. Oh, yeah. We got ourselves a match here. Like I said, uh, it's possible Danny could only see one more break in this match. So if Kyle gets out here, Danny breaks, dry, breaks dry. Mm -hmm. uh, Kyle gets out, break and runs, he steals yep. the match. Wouldn't that be a wouldn't that be a heist there to pull that off? I think the seven might go by that fifteen, so I think he's okay there. Boy, that break is working nice for Kyle, huh? He's just killing that rack. I mean, it's he's just getting action all over the table. He doesn't pop it back. That was a big mistake right there. What did he do there? He's he got just, the it, three though. He didn't even go through the ball when he hit it. No, he miscued. Oh. He's got the three ball, though, up the corner. But he's got to get on that seven ball eventually, too. So the problem now is you're going to probably most likely uh, play for this solid down in the lower left, and mm -hmm. then you got to get on the seven from that ball. So your angle has to be real nice well, right I'm gonna here. I'm going to say shooting the three down the corner, he's got to float this ball over and run it into the 13. 
to hold well, it. Well, he'll for... draw back. Yeah, he's going to try to stun draw back for it yeah. and leave oh, it. He oh, missed. he missed oh, it, and that's going to probably. Well, so I, said, I thought he would hit the 13 and hold it for the two and then come around two rails when it came down for the seven. But uh, uh, now that he's, uh, that miscue put him out of angle there. That's tough. But Danny's, Danny's going to be Danny, able to close Danny, this Danny match still has a couple of trouble balls there. He's got to get a good shape on this uh, ball by the 7 to 15. And I don't know if the 14 goes by the 8. Yeah, so it's not straightforward. He's 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 planning it out right now for sure. Right, cause about the only ball he's got to start with here is the uh, 11. With his cue ball, he shouldn't have an issue with it, though. But like you said, it isn't a road map. It's not a, a stick, 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 and roll up. I mean, he's got to play good angle control. Now, there's one of his balls out of the way. That's a good shot, good starter. I like him getting yep. to that trouble early. You think he'll draw? He's gonna he's gonna go out two rails for that ball on the side. So now, it, like you said, does that ten pass the eight? That's a, that's the whole key there. I don't know. If can't it tell does, on. the rack is a cinch. Then we cannot tell on TV, folks. If it does, the rack is a cinch. If it doesn't, he's got one more little thing. I he's think that play is just on. so close there that it can't possibly go by there. See, he's looking at shooting over there past the seven also. So it must not go. But I think he's going to put a little draw and come back here and try to kick on it. And try to move the, move the 10 out. He was trying to bump it out a little bit and then shoot the 13, but he missed it. He, he drew it too much and went around it. He was trying, trying to move it out just an inch or two so it would go. But... Uh, so oh, he's in to, big trouble now. Look at this. Shoot the nine, I guess. He is in big trouble here. No, he's going to shoot the ten. So it's the ten over in the other corner. He shoots these shots really good. Danny's starting to feel it. This is the the most I've rattled I've seen him in a tournament that I've ever seen him. He looks like he's just not settled. I don't know if he's tired or what it is. What a shot! Oh, he scratched though. Oh, the cue ball followed it right in. Wow. Oh my goodness. Kyle got another lifeline, folks. Danny breaks in the next rack. It's going to be. Uh, no, Kyle breaks. Doesn't Kyle break? No. Danny breaks in the next rack. Oh, that's right. And, and then it, if and it then goes Kyle hill, gets, then Kyle breaks. Yes. That's why I was saying a little bit ago, It's if Kyle would have got out there, Danny would have only had maybe one more attempt at a break shot, and that was it. And, Dan and Kyle could run the entire thing out on him because he has the hammer on the hill. I don't understand. I'm not sure what he was thinking there. I, I don't, don't understand that myself. Why he selected that ball to shoot it like that. He could have just come into all the lines. He shoots the seven, he comes yeah, in the line of the three. I, I don't understand it at all. Yeah, he shoots the, the seven, he comes into the line of the three, and he's out. But I mean, he's gonna he, get he's out gonna of this. He's gonna get out. He likes, the, get, he, he likes his bottom stroke. Yeah. But I mean, why? That That's just not the correct pattern. But he got out of it. You can't argue with a guy that don't miss. We got ourselves action, folks. It's gonna be a great finishing I match. I hope up. everyone's enjoying this. It was 5-2 Danny Olson. Kyle's had a couple opportunities. He uh, he botched a couple other racks. And of course, uh, Danny missed an eight ball too. So I think, uh, Kyle is giving away one more game than Danny has. Danny's given away, well, actually, Danny gave away two games. He gave away this last one here, but Kyle had the first crack at it with the break, so. Thank you, Mike Purdue. Kyle's at the table now. 
If Kyle runs out here, he gets to break for the match. That eight balls, the eight ball has a lot of availability, so. If I'm shooting here, I kind of like to try to get stripes if I can get them. I think he's got a starter on that, that, that ball that's furthest to the north with the stripes. I think if he puts that one down there, he'll be off to the races. He's gonna shoot solids, that'll work too. I like stripes a little bit better because uh, the 15, if you'd have gotten straight on it, then you have this 14 just right down here in the corner here. And I think stripes were a little bit better, but solids are manageable. You got a little more work with, with solids. Hey, Mark. But we got both marks. He doesn't have the six, he's in big trouble now. He's got the seven, but he's gotta, he's gotta take a ball out that he didn't wanna really take, and he's gotten no value out of shooting that last shot at all. So I don't know if, if you wanted to shoot that ball at all there, I don't know if you even wanted to even attempt to make that ball, to be honest with you, but he might have thought about trying to lock him up somewhere down at this corner over here and just let him shoot because the one is obstructing pretty good there. I think I would have, I think I might have looked to punt there and let Danny take it from there because Danny's not shooting particularly well right now. The, the thing you don't want to do is hang yourself on Stalin, so. Yes, please. Well, he's going for the run here. He's in big trouble. He's hanged himself now. He's, he's, this is tough. He's tough. gonna have to be a great shot maker now. His pattern doomed him here. He, uh, he should have played safe two shots ago and just, well, he still had covered. As Danny wasn't playing good, it was a good opportunity to play a safe there for a defensive shot. I think he's going to draw this. He's got the ball four back. ball here, but uh -oh. he needs he needs Look some lo some right. luck. Now he's in huge he's trouble. He's in trouble now. So he's like going to back cut the six ball here, and if he makes it off that ball or makes it, it's the cue ball is going to be flying. But I know Kyle; he's just going to cut at it. He pointed at it right there, yeah. Let's see what happens. If he puts it down, let's see what happens. Cue ball is going to run ball. right this into the This is asking a lot. Probably running right into the five and was. I mean, if he comes out, this would be a great shot if he comes out of this, if he makes it. He's got to put it down. The main thing you want to do here, Richard, is concentrate fully on potting this ball. I mean. Yeah, you he's got to make the ball and just take whatever happens. Yeah, whatever happens, happens. So you have no choice now. He, he should have played safe three shots ago. Well, he still had cover, and he had Danny in a bad spot if he would have played safe three shots ago. Ooh. All right, well, we'll see what Danny can do now. Yeah, Danny's going to take it across the finish line now. The balls are all wide open. He's not going to flub this one up. No way. I would be very shocked, Richard, if he if he dogs this run out here. Because he can make this uh He's in ten in the side, and then 
Yeah. And have the cue ball yeah. come around and get set up for what he needs to do. Yeah. Exactly. And leave the 14 in the way. For, it looks like to me like maybe he playing. could, but I think he saves the 10. If he can get another ball, he wants to save the 10 because he can open up that eight ball. That eight yeah. ball he might not have. He not, might not be able to get in there on might that five without the, banking five, without yeah. banking the eight. So he's looking yeah. at. He's got the corner there with the 14. He can pull out of it. He might do that. He doesn't want to have to do it, but I like I like shooting the 14 before I shoot the 10. But he might just play safe. Yeah, he's going to play safe. The safe is probably the, the smart choice here if you can lock him up good. I mean, you don't really need, but because I don't see Kyle being able to pull a Houdini act if you play safe here. Because it's just not where. Oh, I'm, nothing got oh, to a rail. Wow. He fouled. Oh, Ooh, wow. Shit. That, uh, Danny, wow, he went into tilt. Danny went into tilt. Did no, you see that's that? terrible. Yeah, Kyle's a good hell no, but. That's the most I've ever seen Danny oh, show man, any man. kind of like emotional in any tournament yeah, I've ever seen him play ever. The rail. He yeah. is he is definitely rattled right now. He just has not looked good for and that's why if Kyle would have played a safe three shots ago, I'm telling you, he had the guy in a spot where he's not playing good and he had him to where he had it cover to where he could have still had five, six balls on the table and he could play a moving game with them. He's going to try to go off this ball and open up that pocket. He's going to yeah. try to make the five if he can five do it. Five on the side and uh, off the ball and then make push the ten, the ten down the kick and kick the that ball yeah. out. He, that's what he was looking that at. That would be a heck of a shot. Yeah, Danny is Danny is tight right now. He's rattled. That's this is the most rattled I've ever seen him, Richard. And I've seen him play a lot of pool. Yeah, this I don't is know a... what caused it. I don't know what caused it. I mean, pressure has a way of rearing its ugly head. And, it's uh, he's probably still uh, mad at himself for missing that oh, one eight that, ball. Oh, that eight ball. That, one eight ball that might have been is, what set him off. probably him still into, bothering him and stuff like that. Yeah, that eight ball, that's just because well, Danny I'm, knows right now is, is he's. I'm sure these people around town are just uh, happy as because the local, local boy Kyle here is giving his uh, pro a run for his money. Uh, oh, that, for sure. Yeah. That's a 128 uh, point difference, Fargo rate. Yeah, it. Uh, I'm not oh. sure what that was. I don't know. I thought he was. I thought he was going to hook him a little bit better or something like that. I don't know. I'm don't not understand. sure what he. What do you think he was trying to do? I don't there? know. No, oh, I, don't. I think it's probably. Now. I mean, there ain't no that, that shouldn't have. Uh, I don't understand that shot at all. I'm trying to figure out what he was doing there. I don't either. Sure. I don't know. And I mean, I'm not didn't. trying to be harsh on him, Richard. No, I'm you're just, a better player just, than I am. I, I was trying to figure out. I don't understand what the ph philosophy was behind that at all. So, so. but I'd. Uh, I do want to thank the. Ooh, this, this, what? No, oh, he's got this stripe over here. Yeah. What am I thinking? <laughs> I do want to thank the sponsors for this town stuff like that. From what I understand, it, um, the bars didn't sponsor too well for this tournament, but everybody else in town did. But uh, uh, I'm sure they want to now because they're playing the live streams at the bars, uh, watching Kyle, right now. Are they? Yeah. Yeah. So they. Oh, they, they have it on the screen. Yeah. So they probably wish. Uh, they dealt with more sponsorship and stuff like that, but to root one of their own on. But I mean, it's the first year, so maybe next yeah. year we'll get him involved and get him going and uh, uh, come and support the community a little bit better. So. Wow, Danny is grinding. You see how oh, yeah. he's come to a grinding halt? This is just a road map, and he's well, not completely a road map, but I mean, he is really, wow, what's he doing with the oh, cue ball here? Wow. So this, I'm going to guess he's going to shoot this one to the side and shoot these. Yeah, but his cue uh, ball is really sketchy there, yeah, that was, uh, I mean, he's got the shots, don't get me wrong, but that cube for his caliber, that that was not a very good cue ball there. For some reason, he's rattling the ball. It seems like something's irritated him. I don't know what it was. Yeah, well, know. he's tight. Like you said, he missed that eight ball, and I think maybe he's tired and he's just. Maybe uh, himself, but he's got another match to play, so he better. Uh, if oh, he gets, they are for surely if, playing. If he gets through this one, well, they got to because all the other matches are. There's two more matches they got to play tonight to to make it all even to start in the morning, and this is one of them. It looks like he's going to get out of this. He got he got pushed a little bit there. 
I think this is the most he's probably been pushed in this entire tournament. Yes, by far. Kyle has done very well. Made a couple mistakes in the uh, Yeah, but I've never seen Danny show any emotion like that when he no, hit the, I never hit the ball seen that when he pushed that ball, ball and moved it in that. He that's the yeah, most of uh, temperament I ever seen out of him ever. Ever usually he's very very yeah. low profile and oh yeah, but don't. Uh, and that, uh, well, Kyle's not out. Kyle's still on the uh, uh, in the tournament there. He's just uh, going to play tomorrow. Is all I got. Great match there, folks. Huh? A lot of drama there. It was yep. very close. Gonna, folks, we're going to reboot up the stream here, and then we're going to bring you one more match tonight. So I'm going to boot the stream up, so uh, hang in there and jump back.